hello friends this is Vidhan welcome you to my channel it is the problem of classical mechanics based on canonical transformation it is from June 2015 booklet could see question number 54 small q and small p be the canonical coordinate and momentum of a dynamical system which of the transformation transformation a that contains this and this or transformation B this that contains this and this is canonical so here the matter is that we have to find what transformation is the canonical transformation so for that if we have a transformation from small q small p to capital Q capital P let us name this transformation as T so T is this then for this transformation to be canonical there is a condition that poison bracket of capital Q capital P with respect to small q small p must be equal to 1 and this is the condition for T is canonical transformation T is canonical transformation if it is not equals to 1 then T is not the canonical transformation it is not equals to 1 then T is not canonical transformation so this is the condition now since in our problem the first transformation is a this so where this transformation is capital q1 is 1 by root 2 small q square and capital p1 is 1 by root 2 small p square so for this transformation to be canonical our condition is capital Q1 and capital P1 with respect to small q and small p should be equal to 1. So we will check whether it is equal to 1 or not. Using canonical transformation rule del Q1 by del q dot del p1 by del p minus del q1 by del p into del p1 by del q now differentiating this with respect to small q we have 1 by root 2 into 2 q and this term differentiating this with respect to small p is 1 by root 2 into 2p minus this term is 0 and this term is 0 so we have this cut it with root 2 and this cancels is with root 2 so root 2q into root 2p minus 0 and this gives us 2qp that means that capital Q1 and capital P1 with respect to QP is not equals to 1 therefore A is not canonical transformation similarly we see for the second for the transformation B this one we will see for this so B has been given as transformation B has been given as Q2 1 by root 2 P plus Q and capital P2 is 1 by root 2 
P minus Q. Now for the transformation to be canonical, we know that Poisson bracket of capital Q2 and P2 with respect to small p small q should be equal to 1. So we will see whether it is equal to 1 or not. So this is equals to del Q2 by del Q into del P2 by del P minus del Q2 by del P into del P2 by del Q as per the poison bracket law then we have differentiating this with respect to small q we will have 1 by root 2 plus sorry 0 plus we will have 0 plus 1 by root 2 into differentiating p2 with respect to p we will have 1 by root 2 minus 0 then it's a minus here now differentiating q2 with respect to small p we will have 1 by root 2 plus 0 you can differentiate it first of all distribute this then differentiate this into derivative of p2 with respect to small q is 0 minus 1 by root 2 so we have it then we have 1 by root 2 into 1 by root 2 minus 1 by root 2 into minus of 1 by root 2 so we have 1 by 2 minus minus of 1 by 2 and this is equals to 1 by 2 minus minus plus 1 by 2 and this is equals to 1 so here we have that poison bracket of q2 p2 with respect to the old coordinates small q small p is equals to 1 and this is the condition for the canonical transformation therefore b is the canonical transformation b is the canonical transformation question is neither a or b both a and b only a only b so only b is the canonical transformation since only b satisfies the condition of canonical transformation so answer is 4 only b only b thank you